Two months ago, Nikon made waves in the camera industry by acquiring RED, the renowned U.S.-based cinema company, for $85 million. This unexpected move has sparked speculation about Nikon's plans to enhance its video capabilities, particularly through the potential development of a new Komodo camera with Nikon Z-mount. The acquisition followed a patent infringement lawsuit filed by RED against Nikon regarding compressed RAW technology. During the legal proceedings, Nikon recognized an opportunity to enter the professional digital cinema market. The company aims to combine its expertise in product development, reliability, and image processing with RED's advanced cinema camera knowledge and unique image compression technology. Nikon's president has confirmed a renewed focus on videography, leveraging RED's strengths in this area. The company has hinted at developing cinema lenses and potentially introducing the Z-mount to RED cameras, signaling a significant shift in Nikon's approach to video. While still in the early stages of development, rumors suggest that Nikon might introduce a new camera in RED's Komodo series, possibly called the Komodo Z. This camera could combine RED's cinematic capabilities with Nikon's imaging expertise. Although concrete information is limited, we can speculate on some possible specifications and features based on previous RED cameras. The last camera in RED's Komodo series, the Komodo X, featured a 20-megapixel global shutter CMO sensor with advanced video capabilities. It's likely that the speculated Komodo Z will use a similar or improved sensor, possibly offering enhanced video quality and new RED video recording formats. The Komodo X can shoot 6K videos at 80fps and 4K videos at 120fps in 12-bit RAW, suggesting that the Komodo Z might offer 8K video capabilities. RED recently introduced a well-received face detection autofocus system, which could see further improvements in the Komodo Z. Instead of Canon's RF mount, the new camera is expected to feature Nikon's Z mount, a move highly anticipated by enthusiasts. Enhanced 12-bit internal video recording capabilities are also speculated to be part of this new offering. Additionally, Nikon could introduce cinema lenses for the Z-mount with T-stop features, further enhancing the camera's performance and appeal to professional videographers. Despite the excitement surrounding this acquisition, both Nikon and RED have emphasized that significant changes are not imminent. Nikon's recent statements confirm that RED's current product lineup, partnerships, and dealer relationships will remain unchanged for the time being. This suggests that a Z-mount RED Komodo is not in the immediate future. Nikon has emphasized the importance of continuity in RED's policies, including warranty, repair services, and customer support. While many speculated that we would see quick developments like Z-mount RED cameras, it appears that both companies are taking a more measured approach. Any major changes or new products resulting from this acquisition will likely take time to materialize. The Nikon Komodo Z remains highly speculative at this stage, and Nikon has hinted that we shouldn't expect an official announcement anytime soon. For now, we can only rely on rumors and whispers about the uncertain Komodo Z. However, Nikon's acquisition of RED undeniably opens up exciting possibilities for the future of digital cinema and photography. The combination of Nikon's imaging expertise and RED cinematic technology could potentially lead to groundbreaking products in the years to come. As the industry closely watches these developments, we can expect gradual changes that might reshape the landscape of professional videography. It's clear that significant changes won't happen overnight. Patience will be required as Nikon and RED work to integrate their technologies and strategies. If it does come to fruition, the Nikon Komodo Z could be a game changer, but only time will tell how this acquisition will truly impact the world of cameras. While the future remains uncertain, one thing is clear the merger of these two industry giants has the potential to push the boundaries of what's possible in digital imaging and cinematography. As we wait for concrete developments, the camera industry and enthusiasts alike will be watching with keen interest to see how this acquisition unfolds and what innovations it might bring to the world of professional videography and photography. Before dive into Nikon Z4, first have a look on recently released Nikon Z63 specs. The Nikon Z63 mirrorless camera boasts a 24.5 megapixel partially stacked CMOS sensor and an Xpeed 7 image processor, delivering exceptional image quality. It supports 6K 60p and RAW and 6K 30p ProRes RAW recording, 
along with 4K 120p and Full HD 240p slow motion video. Capture every moment with up to 20fps in RAW and 60fps in JPS and JPEG shooting. Enjoy a blackout-free experience with a 5760,000.EVF and a 493.AF system featuring AI-based subject detection. The 3.2-inch 4-axis tilting touchscreen LCD offers versatile shooting angles, dual CFX Type B and SD memory card slots, and camera to cloud direct connectivity enhance workflow efficiency. Let's dive into Nikon Z4. Certainly. There's a strong likelihood that we could witness Nikon introducing full-frame cameras, even more budget-friendly than the Nikon Z5, potentially named the Nikon Z4, though this isn't confirmed yet. We've come across a compact mirrorless camera design lacking an electronic viewfinder and featuring a minimalist physical interface. Nikon's decision to exclude an EVF from the compact full-frame mirrorless camera body is aimed at minimizing production. However, it's improbable for Nikon to release such a camera into the market without a substantial competitor, as its arrival could significantly impact the sales of existing models like the Nikon Z5 and Nikon ZFC. While some suggest the design could resemble Sony's compact A7C mirrorless camera, the absence of an EVF fuels speculation that Nikon might be venturing into the realm of digital rangefinder-style cameras, deviating from the typical mirrorless model with an EVF. Reports indicate that the Nikon Z4 sensor size should be 24.3 megapixel FX format CMOS sensor. Rumored Nikon Z4 is anticipated to be compact and lightweight, boasting dimensions smaller than its predecessor, the Z5. Expected to measure around 63 mm by 129 mm by 96 mm and weighing approximately 565 grams, the Z4 might omit in body image stabilization to keep costs down. Instead of adhering to the conventional mirrorless camera design, some predict that the Z4 could emulate the compact form factor and user interface of Nikon's FX format eye cameras, akin to the Z50 but equipped with a full-frame sensor. Additionally, enhanced connectivity features, including app support and other advanced capabilities, are anticipated to seamlessly integrate the Z4 into modern workflows. However, amidst the excitement surrounding the Z4, questions arise regarding its necessity, given the success of Nikon's existing entry-level full-frame mirrorless offering, the Z5. While the Z4 may offer a more affordable option by foregoing features like in-body image stabilization and an electronic viewfinder, it remains uncertain if this aligns with the desires of Nikon's user base. The Z5 already presents a compelling value proposition, providing DX and DXS owners with an accessible route to full-frame mirrorless photography. Furthermore, Nikon's flagship models, the Z6 and Z7, offer impressive performance and capabilities at competitive price points. Instead of introducing another entry-level model, some advocate for Nikon to adopt a more daring strategy resurrecting its classic rangefinder heritage with a contemporary twist. Nikon's strategic focus on high-end equipment suggests a diminishing interest in low-priced entry-level cameras, which could eventually be superseded by smartphones. The Z5 is perceived as adequately catering to the market segment below the Z6 and Z7. Despite the Nikon Z mount being the largest in the full-frame mirrorless realm, there's room for innovation without sacrificing compactness. Embracing simplicity, a fixed-lens rangefinder could serve as an adaptable companion for travel and street photography, offering a unique shooting experience with vintage charm. Such a product could differentiate itself from traditional mirrorless offerings while paying homage to Nikon's esteemed legacy in photography. In essence, while a rangefinder-style camera may diverge from expectations, it holds the potential to capture a significant market share by presenting a distinctive alternative to conventional mirrorless cameras. As Nikon has not officially announced a release date for the Nikon Z4, there is no confirmed launch schedule available. Early rumors initially suggested a potential release in either 2022 or 2023. However, it is now evident that this did not materialize. Furthermore, the absence of recent leaks or information suggests that Nikon may have shelved the Z4 project entirely for the time being. Consequently, the Nikon Z4 remains an unannounced and speculative camera that has only been discussed through rumors. While these rumors portrayed it as a more affordable option within Nikon's lineup, it appears that the plans for its development have not come to fruition.